Welcome Capricorns. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be a video for um, July 1st through the 15th. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull some energy. Let's see what messages we have for you. I'm going to start off with the Kipper deck. Give me some messages for Capricorn, please. For July 1st through the 15th. Give me a message for Capricorn. Okay. So we got thief in reverse, main male, and official person. Give me one more. Toil and labor. All right, so we got bad health and message. Okay, so someone could be someone around you could definitely be untrustworthy. Um, yeah, there's a concern here. Possibly about being judged. Yeah, false person, privileged lady. Okay, so somebody here could be dealing with someone that's fake as hell, that's super judgmental, okay, and is a liar, a thief. This official person, you guys could have made somebody uh, an official person in your life, but this person is false. It could be a privileged lady involved, somebody who has some coin. Yeah, and somebody is, we got despair and courtship. Okay, so somebody is privileged and somebody is going through a hardship. Somebody could be using somebody here for money. Somebody, it is definitely false. I'm getting false for sure, for sure, with thief and false person here. Okay. Tell me about this false person that I'm going to be dealing with. Tell me about this false person that Capricorn could be dealing with. Thank you. This is someone that you guys could be in a relationship with. Okay. Could be this person. Okay, so we got the Six of Cups and the Four of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. Four of Wands. And the nine of wands. The hermit. The two of wands. Queen of pentacles. And the justice. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, guys, we got the knight of swords. Three of wands. Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hangman, the Ten of Swords. Okay. I'm getting someone wait. There's a lot of waiting energy here. A lot of waiting energy.
we got the four of pentacles and a ten of pentacles and a five of pentacles you guys could be trying to um you guys could be trying to save you're holding on to something maybe the situation is beneficial but i'm getting there's a lot of waiting energy somebody is waiting for a long period of time um possibly to end something but i'm getting a lot of waiting energy waiting waiting possibly waiting for something to end Then I say that the death card jumped out. I feel like you want to end a connection. But for some reason, it's like you're waiting for something new to come along. I feel like you want to end something. You're waiting for something new to come along before you end this connection. Yeah, you're keeping this a secret. This is something that you possibly think about. Like you're you're thinking about it. Like you like you, you you're like, ah, uh, how do I how do I get out of this situation? I feel like for some of you, you feel like you need a break. You're tired of this situation. You're tired of putting in effort. You're tired of trying to make it work. Feel like you're watching this person. Feel like yeah, you're definitely you're you're for sure for sure. Like you're tired of putting in effort. You want this cycle to close, okay? You're definitely like you're making a final decision. I feel like you've already made your decision. Like I want out of this, but now it's like seeing how to get out of it. Why is the six of cups here? There's something that you're regretting um, from your past. There was an ending um, that you're looking back, that you're looking back at. I got the star here. Maybe you was hoping that someone changed. We got the Ace of Cups here. Maybe you were waiting for somebody to change. Maybe you found out that this person did not change. Um, you got tired of putting in the effort and you went out. We got the Empress here and the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Why's the Hierophant here? The King of Pentacles. There could be a Leo involved, okay? We got that Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. Yeah, and the Two of Pentacles. You guys could be juggling between two people. And someone had to get cut off or you have to cut someone off. Four of Wands energy here and the Tower. And the Four of Pentacles. There could be a marriage that was destroyed here. Okay. Or someone that you've been with for a while that possibly you've been holding on to. Um, but it like all of a sudden fell, it fell apart. Someone maybe was asking for too much. Expecting too much. Maybe the expectations were too high. I feel like you got tired of waiting on this person. Because we got the Knight of Swords energy. This is someone who makes Im impulsive decisions. Like, especially with that tower there. It's like something just happened out of the blue all of a sudden. It came to, It came down. I 
just feel like you don't think that, that you could fix this situation. I feel like you waited on this person. You were waiting to take action in this situation, but it's like the tower couldn't be avoided. There was a tower moment. And I feel like some of you walked away. You abandoned a situation or vice versa. Someone abandoned you, but definitely someone walked away. Six of Swords. Moving ahead, we have the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords. All right, so some type of truth. Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. Some type of truth is definitely being revealed. I feel like you're kind of worried about it. You're oh, like you're overthinking what you're going to say to possibly this Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, I'm getting Leo. Okay. Someone's putting pressure here with that seven of wands. Someone's applying pressure. Okay. Yeah, because see, something here is like you're looking out for your best interests. You could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting a bit of like obsession uh, with this, with uh, sex. Someone has amazing, you have a, an amazing sexual chemistry with someone. Could be a water sign. You want to tell this other person the truth about this? Whew. Yes, you do want to communicate possibly with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or there's some type of invitation or an offer that you want to offer. I feel like you're juggling between two people. You walked away from a situation. Maybe you're looking back at it with regrets. Um, I feel like you want to reach out possibly to a water sign. But this person could be mad with you. You want to resolve some issues here with the temperance and the five of wands. Now, whoever you're dealing with currently could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person may know you have a lot of options. I feel like I feel like you got a choice between two people or even more so you have a few, quite a few options this person that you're dealing with they know you have options they may feel like it's just sex but they're telling you that what y'all got it's not over you can't go nowhere they put in the work they want this three of cups with you they don't care what you got going on. They feel like you're stuck with them. <laughs> this person may have waited and been patient and patient and patient. They say, uh, you're not going to cut me off. You're not going to cut me off. I don't invest in all of this. I don't put in, I did the most. A lot of money could be involved in this situation. Mm-mm. They'll make you cut that other person off before before you cut them off. But I feel like you want to give this offer to someone else. Look at this. This person over here, they are, <laughs> they love you. Okay. They are in love. And they say, uh-uh. You're not going to cut me off. Didn't I say it? Uh-uh. 
You're not about to cut me off. You better cut them other options off. Cut off all them other options. Okay? <laughs> Why the Queen of Pentacles is here? Page of Wands. Okay? This person, um, Five of Pentacles. Okay? Eight of Cups. I feel like you want to walk away or you're in something with somebody. And this person is very giving. Yeah. This person could be giving you things to stay. Queen of Pentacles could be a Virgo towards Capricorn, or this person is uh, financially stable. I feel like when you, I feel like they ask you, "Hey, do you want this?" I'm giving, I'm getting, giving you things to stay, to stay with them. The chariot and the Two of Cups. Some of you may be going for this. Some of you like, you know, we'll ride it out. But we got the justice card here. Judgment. Karma. Ooh. Judgment and justice is definitely, you know. <sighs> Your intuition is telling you to break up with this person. You know this person is madly in love. They will do anything. Look at this. They're just... Oh, showering you okay uh, but the outcome is karma I don't know if well, tell me why the judgment is here the page of pentacles here's the strength card again this Leo okay there's some lies attached to this situation uh, why is the page of pentacles here the cherry could be done with the cancer. Okay. I feel like you want to walk away. You want to walk away from this situation. But there's a lot tied into this situation. So it's not that easy to just walk away. Look at you. You're wanting to walk the hell away. Maybe this is a karmic. Okay. Because she keeps showing up. He or she. Keep showing up with this Seven of Swords energy. Nine of Cups. I just really feel like you're looking at yourself in this situation. Like, you know, it, it's, it's beneficial to me. Some of you may be in a little bit, you know, self-indulgent. But I'm hearing what goes around comes around. I'm hearing what goes around comes around. Lost amount of cups here. The lovers. You gotta make a choice. There's a choice. You got to make a decision. Ace of Wands. Do you want this new beginning? Do you want a new beginning? Or do you want to cut someone off? Mm. Seven of Swords energy. This deceptive energy. You're going to have to walk away. Some of you are going to walk away from somebody. And you're moving on. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm getting there's a karmic involved. A karmic could be keeping you away from your divine feminine or divine masculine. Hmm. Tell me about this karmic energy. Oh, these are this is just a lot of cards. Okay, but we'll take them. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me guys okay so we got flirt here at the bottom of the deck this person i'm getting that as a karmic energy i'm getting that as a karmic energy there could be quite a few people involved um, in calling this person, bringing this person, luring themselves to you. We got to let your friends help you in calling your soulmate. They, this came out together. So they could be sending people towards you. Like when you try to walk away or leave the situation, they're calling you back in. This person uh, is portraying themselves like to be your true love. But they're really trying to get you to release. They're really trying to get you away from this past person. This person is super duper controlling. I don't know if you know this about this person yet because we got getting to know each other. I don't know if you are if you know this about this person yet. I mean, we got trust here. Can you trust this person? Can this person be trusted? Let's use the hidden truth. Show me what's going on with Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? You came closer than anyone. Okay. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I do. I feel like this is your energy telling someone that whoever you walked away from or you're preparing to walk away from i feel like the connection was strong maybe you were a distraction you knew you was a distraction from this uh, this person could have been going through something before you came in and you were just kind of like a distraction but i'm getting you walk away and you're taking the lessons with you I don't react when people mention you. This could be you uh, dealing with a past person. Like if this person brings up uh, a past person, you you, sh you don't show any type of reaction. But somebody definitely wanted to be more than friends. Okay. Somebody can't stop thinking about you or you can't stop thinking about somebody else. But somebody is afraid to reach out. Somebody's afraid to reach out to somebody here. So I'm feeling like some, some of you may have walked away from a connection for something else. Maybe it was more, it was beneficial. Because I'm getting like you, I'm getting, getting like you guys are looking out for yourself. Like you're doing... You're doing what's best for you. You're putting yourself in a position to win. Um, some of y'all might be stepping on a couple necks in order to get this, to get what you desire. But I'm getting what goes around comes around. I'm getting that there's it's this karmic energy around this whole situation. Tell me more. This came out twice. Spiritual lesson. The person in your life is to teach you a spiritual lesson. That's this karmic energy. Some of y'all are dealing with the karmic energy. This person is here to teach you a lesson. Possibly in regards to boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Spirit could also be trying to teach someone in this situation to be patient. Abundance, yeah. I'm getting that there's a lot of money involved in this situation. Like this person could be this 
giving, very, very giving obstacles. Like I said, if somebody bump, if you were to bump into some type of obstacle of some sort, they right there. Okay, you could be feeling like this is oh, this is love, this is true love, but be careful now. Be careful because I'm just getting that there's this karmic energy of what goes around comes around. I'm just, I'm just getting that. You could be feeling like this person is your soulmate or this person is keeping you unavailable to your soulmate. Pay attention. Support. Yeah. This person could be um, either codependent upon you or you could be a little codependent upon them for support. Apology. Somebody owes somebody an apology, but somebody is denying that they owe somebody an apology here. Acceptance. Somebody doesn't know somebody will accept an apology. Somebody is vulnerable in the situation, and there was an interference. Like I said, there was an interference. Somebody, somebody was longing yearning for someone and the interference jumped in the situation somebody slipped in bed with somebody um with somebody and now it's like somebody walks away somebody walks away either somebody walked away from you or you walked away from someone else for a karmic situation and like i said i just keep getting what goes around comes around I just keep getting that. I just keep hearing that. There's some type of lesson to be learned out of this situation. And I feel like some of y'all want to walk away from somebody. I just I keep getting like you want to walk away. We got wait. Don't stop. Success. And compromise. Listen to your intuition. Trust. Trust came out twice. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got reconsider. So there's something that you need to reconsider. There's something that you need to reevaluate. There's a situation that you need to reevaluate here. And we got weight. Maybe you're in no communication with someone and there's a waiting period. Okay. I feel like somebody here has some options or a decision to make for sure, for sure, on whether or not they're going to close out a chapter. There was definitely some type of conflict. Okay. Definitely some type of conflict here. For sure, for sure. Um, somebody is waiting on an apology that they're possibly not even going to get. All right. Now we got don't stop. And Harfant. Could be dealing with the Taurus. You got the devil. You guys, this energy. This is saying don't stop. I feel like you're holding on to something here. You're still holding on. You're holding... You're holding on to something or you're holding back giving this this uh, Ace of Cups to someone. Someone here wants this Ten of Cups with you or you want this Ten of Cups. Maybe you're saving it for somebody here in your past. The Six of Cups. But you're waiting to hear from this person. You're waiting to... I feel like for some reason I do feel like you're still holding on to something from the past. Okay. You're still holding on to something from the past that you haven't fully let go of yet. Why success here? The Ace of Wands. Okay, there's a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. Or maybe you're looking to find, you're looking for something new. I'm seeing that as well too. So maybe you're holding on to something until you find something new. Okay, you're trying to avoid, you know, um, Feeling rejected or left out in the cold. Or King of Swords maybe cutting someone off 
Um, I feel like maybe you're avoiding that until you find something new, okay? Five of Swords. Some of you are definitely trying to avoid conflict um, at this time. Yeah, Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. And avoiding, you're trying to avoid a tower, a tower moment here. Compromise. I told you. Three of Wands and the Six of Cups. Some of y'all are waiting to compromise. Maybe you're dealing with someone um, for now until you can figure out how you, you know, how you and a past person could reconcile. I'm getting that, oh, yep, I'm getting that third party. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your intuition is telling you to wait. Your intuition is telling you to wait. King of Pentacles came out in the reverse. There's something here about your finances, okay? See, you're trying to make sure that you're in a win-win situation. You're not trying to leave one situation and be stuck, okay? Like, you're thinking very practical here. Um, tell me more. The magician and the judgment, okay? So, it's like you get, you, you get to call the shots in this situation that you're in currently. You have to, I'm feeling like you, you are waiting to make a decision, but spirit is calling you to make a decision, a final decision on who you want to be with. What do you want? Who do you want to give this couple up to? Who do you want to give this passion, passion to that? I told you, you got options. You got a decision you got to make on who you want to cut off. Okay. Trust. Justice. And this queen of wands. And the Seven of Swords. There's a third party here. Do you trust this person? I feel like you overthink this. You think about this all the time. Like, you know, how do I move forward? And how do I move forward? Just period. Because there's a third party here. And and like I said, that Ace of Pentacles just jumped out. There's an opportunity for something new right in front of you. But can you trust this? Okay. A tower moment. And Page of Swords. There's some spying going on. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Like, I feel like you're looking at what's best for me. Like, what's best for me in this moment in time? I feel like you guys got a lot going on. But we got the High Priestess and the King of Swords. This person that you could be dealing with, I feel like it's a karmic. And this person knows the truth. They know that you could still be thinking about someone from your past. Okay? Maybe you feel like you made a, you know, a bad choice. A bad decision. Maybe you think that you moved too fast. Okay? There could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you want a connection with. With this two of cups. We got the sun here. This person makes you happy. You're happier with this person. We got the two of wands. But I feel like you may have made a different choice. Okay. There could have been the heavy competition. With this Leo here. You may have gave this Leo an opportunity. With the six of wands. The thing about it is, is can this person be trusted? I feel like there's karmic energy. I just can feel it. I want to see. Tell me about this karmic energy that Capricorn could be telling me. This third party energy. Yeah, they're telling you to let me take the lead. I got it. Let me take the lead. Let me do this. Let me do that. I got it. 
There's some lies tied to this. And this person is saying, I want to make this spurt. Let's make this spurt. They're trying to pull you away from someone from your past. When you leave, when you walk away from this person, they come back telling you that they miss you. They want to make this work. They want to reach out and talk to you. They're telling you, look, I'm ignore, ignore a person from your from the past. Okay? Ignore that person. When they reach out to you, ignore them. I'ma take the lead. They, this person is dreaming about you. Like this, I'm getting like this person could be obsessed. Obsessed with you. And I say they got they have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. But be don't be don't be fooled. This person, they're in a dark space. I'm in a dark place. Spirit is sending me light. This person ain't shit. I feel so much love for you. Like this person is is a karmic energy. That's the message that I have for you guys. Um, if this message resonates, guys, leave me a comment in the comment section below. As well, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal, that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, check out my website. You can get 20% off today using code SELL20 at checkout. You get 20% off of your entire order. All right, my loves, until next time, ciao for now.